originally the scope of the Gavita RS2400E was just to hit 3.0 micromoles, right? We didn't know if we could do it. No one's done it before. One thing about Gavita is always pushing the innovation for the growers. You know, we had to work closely with the OEMs. We had to figure out what is their current state of innovation and how can we accelerate that. With the Kavita RS2400E, you know, we did a lot of development with the diodes, working with diode manufacturers and, and ourselves, R&D teams, to develop a diode that was more efficient than anything in the competition. So that's where our Kavita diodes come in. We have a, a 660 nanometer red diode and we have our white diodes. So one unique thing with the Gavita RS2400E, at 100% power, you're gonna hit 3.0 micromoles per joule. As you dim down, you're actually gonna increase your efficiency to like 3.16, 3.2. So if you actually compare the RS2400E to the 1700E with the same micromole output, we're actually very close to 3.2 micromoles per joule. Whereas the Gavita 1700E was only at 2.7, 2.8. So in, in innovation terms, that's a very, that's a very large jump. My team and kind of the whole R&D team, we all work together as one team. We always try to help each other. Um, it's all one common goal. One really big thing for Gavita R&D is to learn how to be more efficient, more effective, and you know, how can we optimize our process you know, so we can innovate faster and have good quality products out there in the market. So we have a gonio photometer here at Kavita. It measures the angle of light emitted from the fixture. Our gonio photometer is a type C gonio photometer and it was built by UL Underwriter Laboratories to kind of replicate exactly what they have in their testing facilities. So this is more of a far field measurement device. So the arm that's spinning around in 360 degrees has a mirror on it. And what you're doing is as the LED spins, you're capturing the angle of light coming down. We use the gonio photometer to generate an IES file. That way we can have the most accurate lighting layouts for our customers. Because every customer is unique, right? They might, you know, we could go off the data from UL, from our third party, right? And we do like to compare it every now and then to make sure we're accurate. But every design that we do is unique for the customer. They might have one row that they need to run at 50%, right? We might have a row that they need to run at 100%, 75%, it doesn't matter. And we need to make sure we have accurate IES files for each one of those metrics. That way our lighting layouts are accurate. We have a radiated emissions chamber on site in Vancouver, Washington. The FCC chamber measures the electromagnetic waves being emitted from the LED fixture. So what this does is it allows us to test our products before submitting for compliance, right? This allows us to innovate faster and develop faster. And you know, it's holding ourselves accountable before we submit to those third party. If we didn't regulate the electromagnetic waves being emitted from electronic products, none of your cell phones would work, right? None of radios wouldn't work. Anything electrical, you'd have a lot of interference and things would just stop working. So it's very important that you're following the rules of the FCC. Otherwise, you know, if you have, let's say, if let's say we never tested for FCC, right? And we hung an LED fixture in a grow. If you had a thousand of these, right? And they're emitting the wrong frequencies, you're gonna have a lot of communication issues. You could have power issues too, and your products are gonna fail. So it's very important, like FCC, I feel like, is one people don't take very seriously, but if you, you know, if you have some interference, you're not playing by the rules, you're gonna have issues in the field. The integrating sphere is a instrument that's uh, coated in barium sulfate and allows pure reflectivity. It measures the total light output as well as the color spectrum of the LED fixture. So you use that to generate your micromoles per joule 
or your total luminous output. So the integrating sphere is used to calculate the total amount of light being outputted by your LED fixture, purely focused on color and intensity. One of the key things we wanted to implement in our manufacturing process was smart technology. And we developed something that internally we call the black box. Um, it's kind of an industry first for horticulture. What the black box does is it's gonna scan each of the 3,520 diodes. It's gonna bend the diodes by color so you know how many white, red, blue, and it's gonna let you know the intensity and actually the color accuracy and it's gonna count missing diodes. That's another thing, you know? Maybe there was a defect, right, in the process, and there's one diode that was emitting half power. You know, with, with your eyes, which was the traditional way of inspecting these units with glasses, you would never catch one diode at a 4,000 that's only emitting half light. So, you know, we started integrating more smart technology into our manufacturing process. That way, this never goes to the customer. So each fixture goes through this system and all 3,520 diodes get scanned in a matter of seconds, and all that data is stored. That way, if there is an issue in the field, right, we can get that fixture back, we can look up the serial number, compare it to the data, and we can fine tune our metrics from there. That way, you know, our, our failure rate goes down even further. We wanna make sure that if there is an issue in the field, it's caught quick and early, that way no other customers are affected. Gavita led the industry with HID innovation, and our goal is to keep leading that innovation with LEDs in the future. Quality is most important for us. We want our customers to enjoy their lights, grow good crops, and come back.